Singapore is known for its tropical climate, but how does the country keep its cool in the sweltering heat? In today's video, we'll explore the innovative technologies and cutting-edge science that helps Singapore remain cool despite its natural climate. From the giant underground ice blocks that keep the city's buildings chilled to the advanced air conditioning systems that use artificial intelligence to optimize energy consumption, we'll discover how science is shaping the future of sustainable urban living. Before we continue, please take a moment to like the video and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any of our latest videos. Thank you. Now sit back and grab a drink as we take a deep dive into the science behind Singapore's cooler climate. Singapore had 14 days of temperatures exceeding 34 degrees Celsius in July's persistent and severe heat. While the majority of the country was covered in heat, some regions were hotter than others. The eastern regions of Singapore have routinely seen warmer temperatures than the rest of the island, according to data from the Meteorological Service Singapore MSS. According to experts, how these places are developed in the future will have a big impact on how the heat is distributed. This also comes after the United Nations Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change issued a significant report on August 10, 2022 that raised concerns about rising temperatures in the decades to come. The city is fighting to lower the heat that its 5.7 million inhabitants endure without significantly expanding its carbon footprint. Singapore has more air conditioning units per person than any other country in Southeast Asia, despite its goal of having emissions by 2050. As Singapore is hot and humid, air conditioning becomes very pervasive, but it's also an energy guzzler. Thus, building design should be done to minimize the use of air conditioning. This will also reduce the waste heat dumped into the environment, said Wong Nyuk Hien, a professor at the National University of Singapore School of Design and Environment. The urban heat island effect aggravates Singapore's climate change issues. Singapore's dazzling metropolitan landscape may be readily identifiable but it has also paid a price for its quick urbanization. Urban areas on the island are becoming warmer than the nearby rural areas as shade-giving flora is being replaced by construction that either absorbs or produces heat. This loss of natural flora triggers a vicious cycle known as the urban heat island UHI, effect. This phenomenon happens when urban surfaces like buildings and roads replace natural land cover, which absorbs and traps heat. According to studies, this has led to temperature disparities between metropolitan and less developed areas of Singapore of up to 7 degrees Celsius. Due to the city's rising temperatures, Singaporeans are turning to air conditioning and private transportation, both of which produce heat. More people are speaking out against cutting down existing woods for urban expansion, lately due to increased public awareness. Earlier this year, there was a public uproar over the idea of redeveloping Yulipandan for housing demands which included the 33 hectares Dover Forest. Authorities declared in July that only a third of the property would be used for houses as a result of months of consultations, and that space would instead be set aside for a natural park. Plans for the remaining portion of the site won't start until about 2030. The prevalence of land shortages in Singapore and the ongoing conflict between the need for urban growth and the desire to protect natural places for their environmental significance have been brought to light by these cases. To reduce the urban heat island effect, for instance, authorities have stepped up their tree planting initiatives. The nation has committed to planting 1 million trees by 2030, including in industrial estates and along roadways, as part of a nationwide green initiative. Singapore's urban planning is the first step in its search for coolness. The city was thoughtfully planned to optimize the amount of shade and airflow. The streets are lined with a lot of trees, parks, and other greenery, which provides shade, and lessens the urban heat island effect. Cities have this impact when their concrete and asphalt surfaces trap heat, raising temperatures. The green spaces in Singapore are essential in addressing this problem. Cooler temperatures are produced in the surrounding areas as a result of green spaces' ability to naturally absorb heat and provide shade. Singapore's rooftop gardens are yet another distinctive aspect of the city's environment. These lush gardens, also referred to as sky gardens, are spread above numerous buildings in the city. These green rooftops not only improve the aesthetics, but also serve to chill the city by absorbing heat, insulating structures, and reducing energy use. Urban planning in Singapore makes extensive use of vertical gardens and green spaces. These lush green spaces are crucial in reducing the urban heat island effect, which occurs when cities trap and hold heat as a result of human activity and infrastructure. Singapore uses the idea of cool roofs, 
which are roofs with highly reflecting surfaces that deflect sunlight and reduce heat absorption. In order to lower ambient temperatures by up to 2 degrees Celsius, Singapore is also starting a large-scale trial program for the application of cool paints in housing estates. This idea is part of a 10-year strategy created to improve the sustainability and livability of Housing and Development Board (HEB) towns. As a result of the Tampines higher average land surface temperature compared to other towns, 130 HDB blocks there would have heat reflective paint applied to them. This would be done in addition to the cool roof technology to help lower interior temperatures and use less energy for cooling. This straightforward yet efficient approach helps reduce the thermal strain on structures. When it comes to reducing temperature and conserving energy, we have to mention that Singapore has embraced renewable energy sources. Throughout the city, solar panels can be seen gracing building rooftops. These solar panels take advantage of the abundant sunlight and transform it into clean electricity, which powers cooling systems and lowers carbon emissions. That's not all though. With its cutting-edge subsurface cooling system, Singapore has upped the ant on cooling. A massive network of chilled water pipes that transport cool air to buildings is hidden deep beneath the city's streets. The district cooling system, which provides centralized cooling, eliminates the need for individual air conditioners in each building. It's a clever strategy for cooling the city without using excessive electricity. By doing away with the need for individual air conditioning, ACE units in each building, this technology considerably lowers energy usage and carbon emissions. Singapore sets the bar for designing sustainable, energy-efficient structures that keep people cool indoors. As a result of the city's strict green building regulations, the use of materials that reflect heat, enhance insulation, and maximize natural light is encouraged. These design concepts not only make buildings cooler, but they also use less energy and produce healthier living spaces. Undoubtedly, air conditioning is a key component of Singapore's cooling plan, and this nation has been at the forefront in the quest to create cutting-edge air conditioning systems. Modern technologies like chill beams and variable refrigerant flow (VRF) are frequently employed to offer precise cooling to various parts of a building. In addition to offering comfort, these technologies help optimize energy use while lessening any negative effects on the environment. Energy efficiency is given top priority when creating smart, sustainable buildings in Singapore. Such structures make use of cutting-edge cooling technologies, such as energy-efficient air conditioners, heat-reflective paints, and effective insulation. Additionally, by combining automation with smart sensors, cooling systems can be controlled to their full potential, using energy only when necessary. As extreme weather occurrences become more frequent, Singapore has also started to implement resilient infrastructure design ideas. This entails designing suitable ventilation channels, developing wind tunnels, and adjusting building designs to promote natural air circulation. Buildings are kept cooler during hot weather by promoting airflow and decreasing dependency on energy-intensive cooling equipment. Research and development have received a lot of attention as a result of all these advances. Singapore makes significant investments in scientific research and development to maintain and advance its cooling systems and to discover innovative approaches to enhancing energy effectiveness, sustainability, and temperature management. Universities and research organizations, including the National University of Singapore and Nanyang Technological University, carry out studies on improved cooling using nanotechnology, alternative energy sources, and sustainable cooling methods. Together, these two sectors work to push the envelope of what is possible and support Singapore in creating cutting-edge innovations. As we have seen, science is essential to comprehending and mitigating the effects of climate change. We can design a future in which our cities remain livable and resilient by consistently pushing the boundaries of knowledge and creating new solutions that maintain harmony with the environment. Singapore has achieved the creation of an environment that is both cozy and energy efficient through the mix of sustainable tactics and cutting-edge technology. Other urban regions facing comparable difficulties can get ideas from Singapore's dedication to environmental sustainability. And that's a wrap on our exploration of how Singapore keeps cool in the hottest weather. We sincerely hope that this in-depth look into the fascinating world of science and technology has been enjoyable for you. Singapore has really raised the bar when it comes to battling excessive heat with its inventive architectural designs and cutting-edge cooling systems. We hope this video has piqued your interest in the areas where science, technology, and the environment come together. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please remember to like, 
subscribe, and share the video to someone who you know would enjoy it. Continue to discover and learn about the fascinating changes going on every day in the world, and we'll see you in the next video.